Okay, Kenneth. Yeah. It's nice to meet you. Yeah, nice uh, to meet you. The, the African Cup of Nations is over, and we are chasing the champions <laughs> <laughs> wherever they go. Um, the, the the admiration, the the joy of being one of the being the African champion. Tell me about it. Yeah, it's it's really great. You know, it's uh, it's great because at first we didn't know we we're, we're gonna get this. You know, it, and uh, the team as a as a young team, yeah. as a as a young team, no, not much was expected from us. You know, so it feels really really good to to be champions. How do you feel when Nigerians were not so happy about the team? Yeah, actually we knew uh, we were better because we had some difficulties because of the the pitch, and uh, we knew if we if we had a chance to to leave that pitch, we we're gonna play better. And also we got a lot of encouragement from the from the coach Stephen Keshi, and uh, also from the Nigerian Football Federation. So we had to focus and don't think about what people were saying. What brought out this spark at the last minute? You know, I was surprised from within the group stage. You guys were playing like, like really a young team. But then suddenly there was this brilliant spark. What was the secret of that? Yeah, actually, uh, it came at the game against Ivory Coast because uh, everybody thought, yeah, it's over. You know, but we knew if we could give our best and and have that game, nothing would stop us. So after winning that victory, we knew. We can't go back now, you know, so we have to give everything. Actually, you guys made Nigerians everywhere so proud. Everywhere. You know, I followed the whole game and I was so proud when Nigeria became the champion again. Um, looking at you, you as a player, I, I see that you were supposed to play with... Uh, you, were, you played for the Flying, Flying Eagle, right? Yeah. Uh, in 2011. And suddenly you, you, you start playing for the senior team of Nigeria. Yeah. How do you feel moving from that level to? Yeah, uh, you know, right now the the team is like in a transit, you know. So I knew if I get the opportunity to be in the team, I had to grab it. You know, you have to give your best and show why you're there. But it's you qualify. You were among the people that qualified the Flying Eagle for the next championship. Yeah. Also, I played in the in the last uh, under 20 World Cup. Yeah. But I'm still legitimate to play again. So why are you not going for the, the one coming up in March? Why are you not part of the team? Yeah, it's uh, due to the program. You know, we have a qualification game in March. So for the Super Eagles, what okay. qualification? So I think, and being away from the team that much and also taking another permission to go again. Okay. It's kind of uh, too soon. You know, the, I have to... I have to play more games here, you know, like my team now were trying to go to the to the Europa. So we we have to I have to stay and play. I heard you speaking Dutch with your fellow teammates. <laughs> Tell me about that. You how long have you been in the Netherlands that you were speaking that, that much? Uh, I've been in the Netherlands for one year and so how come you're speaking good Dutch, at least reasonably? <laughs> What's the secret we're yeah. teaching him? I don't know. I tell him every day he, he must speak Dutch. But so you were forcing it, him to speak Dutch? Yeah, yeah. That, that's uh, <laughs> our problem. But uh, no, he, he, he learned well. And you, you were denying you don't speak English. And now you speak English. You yeah. I, <laughs> no, no, no. I don't speak English very well. Yeah, but you're not as you as you I can speak Nederlands. Yeah. Yeah. I verstaan kan niet sowieso. So, and your coach was speaking in Dutch and you were understanding everything. Yeah, most of the things I understand and if I don't he's always there to <laughs> I'm to, 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 to to explain, you know, so it's good. And how are you dealing with the cold, the weather? It's very, yeah. very cold here. Yeah. Now I'm back to it. I have to deal with it. You okay. know, I hope it's summer soon. From the from the African sun to yeah. the <laughs> Okay. It's and and tell me, you know, you hear of racism everywhere, Palatoli with uh Inter Milan Inter Milan and uh, AC Milan. Do you feel something like that happens here? I no. saw you hugging a lot of the players were hugging you like brother, you know? Yeah, here here we're family, you know. It's that's why I, I, I always say if if my going back to Chelsea if I'm not going to play, then I stay here. There are a lot of club here wants me to come over, but I don't know the situation there. When I came here, I was welcomed. So, you, so you, 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 you feel that 
the clubs in the Netherlands has no such problem of racism. No, because, not right. not the one I'm aware of. Yeah. Okay. Well, here I feel I feel I'm in Nigeria already in this team. So when you're happy, there's no no it's no. Yeah, it's yeah, I saw it. I feel that. I said, wow, that's good. Yeah. It makes him feel more like he's in a family. Mm -hmm. But speaking about going to Chelsea, if the opportunity comes, would you grab that? Yeah, sure. Why? <laughs> uh, it's my team. So, <laughs> yeah, it's my team. You, and, uh, you, you move from uh, standard uh, le le ledge, ledge to, yeah. to Chelsea and now on loan to, to Ado Den Haag. Yeah. Is it grooming? Is that Chelsea's yeah. strategy to groom you? Yeah, it is. Okay. It is. Yeah, and I think it's, it has really worked. So yeah. the Netherlands is a grooming ground for, for <laughs> young, talented players. I think like for, you. yeah, for me it's a success. Okay, yeah. uh, and you know, I watched you play in the Nigerian, uh, uh, in, I mean the African Cup of Nations. I saw how strong you were uh, technically, and uh, in, in the in the central defense and the and the uh, right back defense. Do you think you're a good replacement for a player like Yobo? <laughs> uh, a replacement. Uh, I think uh, everyone has his own uh, pattern of play. I respect uh, the captain very much because he's a, a great player and a respected player. Uh, I wouldn't say I'm a great replacement for him. I, I, I just know I'm good in the team and if I'm given the opportunity to play I would always give 100 percent. You know I saw Nigerians, I followed Nigerians, a lot of Nigerians on social media. I, I, heard, I heard them talking about you and nobody wants to see Yobo anymore. <laughs> so why not take it? Why not be confident that yes, I am a good replacement for Yobo? <laughs> yeah, it's uh, it's football, you know. Uh, I think uh, it, when he's uh, retired, of course, I don't. I, I think I'm good enough to play. I've played in the Nations Cup, so I don't think there's any way I can't play, you know. So yeah. And tell us, tell me, tell me more about your coach, Stephen Cage. Yeah, what, what, what what is it about him that you like? Yeah, I like the, the confidence in him, you know, it's not everyone that will decide. I respect him uh, first for, for the confidence he, he, he put in me, you know, to, to go and play such important position at this young age. And I, I, I'm happy I didn't let him down, you know, and personally the relationship with the boys is, is great. You know, everyone respects him and he respects the players and that's important. Okay. And what, what was it that made him give you the opportunity to play for the Super Eagle? At least there were other players, probably. Yeah, I think uh, from the friendly games we played, from the training sections, okay. yeah, he, he, he saw how serious I was and he, he believed in me, you know, so yeah, that's it. And let me talk to your friend once again. Yeah. What's your name? Sorry. Fito. Sorry. Fito, Fito. Fito, Fito. Yeah. And, um, how long have you been playing for other than Hag? This is my first year. First year? Yeah. I'm older so, than him here. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and tell me, how do you see Kenneth? Yeah. He, Kenneth in this club? Well, first of all, it's a, it's a, yeah, a boy always smiling, always uh, happy. <laughs> and, uh, and and you can see it on the, on the pitch, on the, on the field. He's uh, always smiling, always happy. And then, and uh, yeah, he, he plays like, like yeah, a beast. <laughs> like, uh, like, like, yeah, 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 but the good beast, eh? good beast. The good beast. Yeah, that's, that's good. <laughs> All right. And how long are you gonna stay with Adam and Hag? Yeah, I think uh, I've signed for uh, last last summer. I signed for four years. Okay. But uh, we will see. Okay. <laughs> Since I know it's a grooming ground. Eh? Yeah, yeah. Apple, yeah, yeah. Sort of to bigger. Yeah, we will see. I hope, but <laughs> well, um, you live here. Uh, back to him again. He is a star. We chase yeah, him yeah, everywhere yeah. he goes. And but big star. <laughs> <laughs> and how do you feel? You know, living here in the Netherlands. Do you know a lot of Africans that at least makes you feel at home? Yeah, I, I know some Africans. Okay. You know, from church and and also I have an uncle here, so right. it feels a. Uh, it feels good, you okay, know. Okay, so you're yeah. quite maybe at home. Let me put. You yeah, there. almost, almost at home. But at, like the saying goes, there's no place like home, you know. I know that. I know yeah. that. <laughs> I know that. And 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 um, when you played with big players like 
In fact, I would say you, you didn't give Drogba any chance. You went in the African Cup of Nations. Did you feel like he's a star? So I must stop him from scoring goals. Yeah, that's it. Because if you if you play against a player like Drogba and he doesn't score, then you are a star. You know. So you have to when you're playing against a, a good opponent, you have to be very careful. He's a strong player. Believe me, he is. But you have to. I had to do my best and try to keep a clean sheet. Yeah. I like that. Um, and 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 what about your your teammates, Mika, Mosi? How do you feel playing with those? And probably you're gonna have the chance of playing with them in the same uh, club again if you go back to Chelsea. Yeah, yeah. It's uh, it feels good. If you're in the central defender, you need a midfielder like uh, like Mika, you know, who always wants the boss. Then it's easy for you to play. Simple. You don't kick much of the boss outside, you know. The, the, they, they, they made the team very strong because they were like the, the big names in the team and they came out with all their hearts to, to play for the country. And that was important. If they could give everything, then we have to also because there are 17 new players in the team. So if we if they can give 100 percent, then we have to give more than 100 percent. I want to know some. Thank you for that. I want to know something. Um, you were born in Kaduna. No, it's an error. Yeah, it's an error. How do you change that? Everybody uh, I don't know. You were born in Kaduna. No, what, what, I don't know how to change that. I just see it on uh, on the internet. So where was that? Where exactly were you born? I'm born in Abia State. Oh, yeah. So now this is the first time we're getting the real information <laughs> that this man was not born in Kaduna. No. Everywhere everybody's saying he was he's born in Kaduna. Yeah, and, and, and when they hear it, they want to speak uh, Hausa to me. Yeah. But I, I don't understand. Can I do Hausa? <laughs> <laughs> you know, so. Uh, and and uh, how many how many um, clubs in Nigeria did you play with? Jo just one club. Which club was that? Sunshine Stars of okay. Akure. Okay. That's my first professional so club. Probably you speak Yoruba also? No, I don't. Uh, because you I played for less than one season, just one season. Okay. Yeah, then I, I traveled. Okay. And, and, and your parents are from Abu too? Yeah, but we've always lived in Abuja. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Nice. I, I feel very nice getting this information yeah correct? so you can change it trying to correct this information <laughs> yeah <laughs> that was why i asked you that question. okay and yeah. uh i, I want to know about the, your future plan very soon you guys will be playing we're going for comp the confederation uh coming up in in july in june in june mm -hmm, yeah um wh what is the plan you'll be going back to nigeria to join the rest of the team or what yeah yeah sure because uh you know, before the before the Nations Cup started, the coach was saying he is looking forward to the Confederation Cup, not even the African Cup. You know, so mm -hmm. he he knew there was going to be a success. You know, but that's a big tournament, and we have to really prepare and so and you, be focused. Would you guys it. give your best again? Yeah, we will. Do, do you feel you're giving your best in the African Cup of Nations? Yeah, but. Yeah, the best is always there, you know, we, we just have to keep giving our best. All right. Yeah. And that was it. it it's so nice to, 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 to talk to you again. And I, I'm so proud of you as an African <laughs> champion. Thank and, you very and much. We'll keep following whatever we can find you. Okay. And I want to say congratulations for, for that um, uh, big win for Nigeria. And Thank you very much. It's nice that you to meet you again playing for Adel Den Haag and I think we'll be seeing a lot of you. And yeah. Who knows? Yeah. You, uh, it is my pleasure to meet you here, Miss Natalie. Um, we're here in, practically in the field where Adel Den Haag trains. I would like to know what is your role in this place? My personal role? I'm the press officer. Good. So I'll help you and I'll help all the other press to meet our players and interview them whenever they want. Thank you. That means we're talking to the media woman in of the. Of yes. The yes, and I, I make all the the our own magazines, and I do the website and Twitter and Facebook. So oh, all yeah. the communications is uh, is my job. Oh, nice. Uh, would you? I would like to know something about uh, foreign players with with uh, the team. How many foreign players do you have here? At the moment, not so much. We have very many people from our own city and uh, and guys from Holland. And Kenneth is one of the, uh, the only 
players from Nigeria and from uh, an, uh, other country. Okay. We had a few last year and this year I think it's only Gabor Horvath from Hungary and uh, and Kenneth. And how long has Kenneth been with Adudin Hai? Kenneth came with us um, almost a year ago after okay. the winter break. Yeah. Uh, Chelsea bought him and uh, and they rented him to to us. So he's now over a year here and. Um, yeah, we had to miss him this winter break because okay. he was in Africa. Okay. And do you think Ado Den Haag is willing to let him let him go after the? We are trying to keep him here. And is he willing to stay? He is, but um, he told he what he's thinking is if I get a chance at Chelsea yeah. to play to really play, then uh, he's going to try that. But if they will, um, because he needs a license to play and you need to play a lot of inter uh, interlands for your country. Okay. And when you get. Uh, the matches for your country, then you can play in England. You need a special license. And here okay. in Holland, you don't. Okay. So here he can play. So if he's sure he's going to get a chance at Chelsea, he's going to try, of course, we all understand. Tell me something but about he, him. otherwise, he wants to stay. Tell me something about him. Has it been a very great uh, impute to other than him? Absolutely, it's a great impute. He's, um, um, it's a great athlete. He, when he came here, he was only 18 years old, and all the other mm. players were almost amazed of how fit he is and how he looks and he's so big and he's strong is and he big? he's than all the Dutch players yeah here. he's bigger than a lot of Dutch players okay. and he's really strong so they they really were impressed with him and he's only 18 years now he's, he's 19 in the, uh, he's become 19 years old and he's still such so, such a young guy and when you see him play you don't notice it that he's so young many viewers out there would like to know how powerful is other than her when it comes to the uh, Euro Divisi and uh, did I say it right? Euro Divisi. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Euro Divisi. Uh, I mean, just within the within Holland, how powerful is the is the club? We're getting better and better every year. We came. What's the position in the in the? We are uh, now number eight. Number eight. And we st we are fighting for European playoffs. So maybe we can go to Europe this uh, this summer. Okay. And that's the second time. Two years ago we had the same. We went seven. We were seventh. But before that we came from a lower division. So we're now five years in the in the highest on the highest level, and we're growing every year. We're getting okay. better and better. So probably you need more players like Kenneth. We need, of course, more players like Kenneth. So we hope he's going to stay with us for another year. And when Chelsea claims him, we know that Chelsea is, of course, much bigger than our club. Um, tell me something about I don't I don't hack that you think should be very important for the public to know. I think it's very important to know that we are the team in the city where the where the government is and mm -hmm. where the Queen lives. So we are, it's a big city, Den Haag, after Amsterdam. Everybody knows Holland from Amsterdam, but Den Haag is a big city. And um, in the war years, in 40, uh, 42 and 43, we were champion of the of the country, okay. and we won the cup two times. And then we had some some more difficult years in the 80s and 90s, and now we're back on the highest level and. Uh, we're growing and the other clubs are uh, not so happy with us because at our home ground we're very difficult to beat because we have a very good atmosphere in the stadium with our... Uh Talking about all that clubs not being happy with, with Adel Den Haag, last week there was a fight with IS, with your fans and IS fans, am I right? A fight? Yeah, there was a fight at the, at the, at the, at the football... No, there was a fight at Feyenoord PSV, but not with us. Not with, not, not with either than okay. No, and there was there are no uh, our our uh, our audience cannot come to Amsterdam. Okay. We, so we have and they don't come to our matches. All right. So no, it was really quiet with our match. It was a, a fight on the field, oh, and okay. we played one one. Ajax okay. was not happy with us okay. because it was in Amsterdam. We played we draw there. At home. But we it's had. Really um, I'm very happy we didn't have a fight. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, what about your management financially? Do you think Ado Den Haag is capable of getting more foreign players, maybe from Africa, or from elsewhere? At least that I would make know. The, the team be more stronger. Probably. That's true, but the focus is not really on uh, people from other countries. We just want the best players wherever they come from, mm -hmm. and we have um, the, gov the the management tries to uh, get. Talent, uh, talented players and sell them after two or three years to bigger clubs. Okay. So we, we, we try to get them at a young age and then we have them for a couple of years. When they are really good, they go to another club and in the winter we sold one you, of the players. You are the breeding ground for... That's, that's, what our, that's what we are at the moment. Okay, that's what I'm asking you. For instance, after building a player like Kenneth and then you allow him to go to other bigger clubs, mm -hmm. is that not a loss for... For your club? 
No, because we're proud of the guys who go up, okay. and we we are going up with the club and as a whole, and maybe in the future we can we can keep them here. But to the club now, we are educating players for higher clubs, for bigger clubs with more money. And it's, we are very proud when players go. We have players now at Feyenoord, at PSV, and maybe Canada, Chelsea. And so and then we follow them around and we're very proud of them. All right. Thank you very much for this interview. Thank My you. Pleasure. You're welcome.